Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze, and welcome to a Wizard 101 update video. So we finally got some new Wizard 101 content. I want to say content, but it's just a couple new items that are added into the crown shop. Probably because they felt bad, because Pirate 101 got a ton of new content this week, so they decided... Well, at least it's not really in the game yet, but it's going to be. They got a lot of new information. So they decided to give Wizard 101 players two new crown items which were just released in the crown shop this morning. So uh, these two items are the Spear of Tenacious Resolve and the Talon of Pestilence. So the Spear, uh, they're both level 95 for me because that's what level uh, my character is. So these are the level 95 stats for these two new items. So the Spear of Tenacious Resolve, it has 8% extra power pip chance, 3% pierce, 43 block, 78 crit, and 11% incoming. So, just comparing this to the staff of the Subjugator, which was released with part one earlier, or last year, and I would still rather go with the staff of the Subjugator because really the only thing you're getting is that extra 3% pierce, which isn't too great in the long run. And they're both 140, so these are both the same uh, level of for the attack cards with these uh, new spears or these new wands so um, I don't know not too great of stats on this uh, and uh, that is what it looks like right there it looks kinda cool it's got like a swirling mist around like the jewel in the middle and uh, here is the talent of pestilence which I think looks a lot better it looks a little more like uh, chrysalis to me so uh, talent of pestilence has 8% power pip 6% Pierce, 110 crit, and of course the power pip that comes with all wands, or at least all higher level wands these days. So, now this one, the stats aren't really that great either, and the only reason I would get this is to stitch it, because it looks really cool. It's one of the cooler looking wands that they've released recently, and it really, I think it really uh, looks more chrysalis-like than the other wand, so I'm actually going to buy this one and stitch it to one of my wands and just kind of test it out and see what it looks like. It's I was I was thinking about it before I recorded this and I'm like, you know, it's probably not the best idea to actually buy this with crowns because when part 2 does come out, I bet there's going to be a ton of drops that look like this. But uh, I don't really care for now because um, we're probably not going to see part 2 for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this and we're going to check this out because uh, I'm excited to actually see what this looks like when our characters hold it. So, let me go and look for the Talent of Pestilence here. So here is what it looks like. It's actually kind of, it's actually longer than I thought it was going to be. It's got like a, it's got like a spider web in the front too. And then of course it's got like the spider around the jewel on the hilt there. So that looks, that actually looks a lot better than I thought. So what I'm gonna do is stitch it to my Staff the Subjugator. So I can uh, use that. Wait, what do I have? I think I'm going to have to unstitch my staff first. Let me look at it quick. Yeah, I have the red ones. People always ask me what blade I use. And it's the red ones, Viridian Blade. That is what this looks like. I think it's from the Drake Hatchery, but you can look it up. So I'm going to unstitch this. So we don't lose that. And then we'll stitch the new wand. Talon. Of pestilence onto the red wind. So I'm actually uh, really impressed. Looking up close at this, oh, not Zeke, sorry Zeke. Looking up close at this, it actually looks really cool. So let me equip this quick here. Oh, I actually, I actually stitched the wrong thing. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh my gosh, well, that was a waste of a hundred crowns. <laughs> Yep, it must be it must be morning here. It definitely is. I like woke up like 30 minutes ago, and I went about my rounds of seeing what was new on Twitter and everything. Well, that was a fail. Uh, so here's the appearance, and the stats are the staff. Oh my gosh, failing pretty hard this morning. Okay, now to equip the real thing. It looks the same, but it has way better stats than the red wind. I don't think the red one has like any stats. I could I could look at it quick. Does the red one even have any stats? Nope, not really. So there's that. Okay, let's go over to the 
good old unicorn way, and we're gonna kill. We're gonna go beat up some. Uh, I can't even think of their name. The uh, lost souls. I was about to say Falgaze. We're gonna go beat up some Falgazes over here. But we're gonna go kill some lost souls to see what this new wand looks like when you cast it. And I need to switch up my deck here so I can cast the right spells. I think I'll cast a Shadow Seraph so we can see what that looks like. And then I'll cast one of these Ultra Rages so we can see what that. Do you want to cast anything else? Let's cast a heal. Let's find some kind of heal. Let's do a heal that I never use. I never use... I never use regenerate. I'll go with that. And then, of course, I need a primordial. There's one. So I'll go with that. And we will kill a lost soul. So, is there... I don't think there's anyone in this realm. But yeah, this thing looks a lot cooler than I actually expected just by looking at it in the crown shop. So we're going to wait until we draw a shadow pip and I'll cast that first. And then we will kill him with our ultra rage. There's our shadow pip. So there is the Talon casting the well, the Shadow Weapon, pretty much, casting a Shadow Spell. So I'm just going to wait until I can find that Regenerate. And then, oh, I did not mean to draw that. And then we will wait for the Shadow Seraph to wear off, and we'll cast a regular Wand Hit. Let's see what that looks like. As I regenerate. I'm going to wait an extra turn for the Seraph to run out. I wonder if they're going to like update the models of these for part 2 or add something to them. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, I guess I can put this faint on. Give myself more backlash. You know, I'll heal back for all of it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, so let's cast this. Let's see what this looks like. Ultra Rage. I wonder if I have one of the wand attacks that makes uh, the character actually go out onto the field. I don't know. I'm not sure if I have one of those. Because uh, this wand is actually a... You know what's funny? I just thought of? Since this is a staff, I think it does that. I wonder if I switched it to this. If I stitched it to this thing. Or if I just unstitched it. If it would... Um, cast it like differently when I use that you know what I'm gonna do is go on uh, uh, unstitch it and just use it with its original stats and then cast it and see if it looks different so I'll be right back okay so here we are with the actual stats of the talent of pestilence and we're just gonna cast the ultra jolt see if it looks any different from the other one we casted Yep, so it's just one of those where uh, your character does summon himself onto the field. And he does that cool, like, 360 spin thing. So, there's that. Anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just kind of looking at some of the two new Crown Shop items that were released today. I'm actually really happy with what the talent of Pestilence looks like. 
and uh, I think it's kind of gives us an indication of what some of the new items are going to look like for Chrysalis Part 2. So, anyway, uh, make sure you guys like the video if you have enjoyed it. Uh, it only takes about a second to do that. So, uh, anyway, uh, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.